Hello, and welcome back to the Mastering MetaHuman series. Today we're going to be exploring the DNA calibration setup and the DNA viewer, specifically in Maya. Now, there are a few prerequisites or different things that you should have before doing this one. First off, DNA calibration can be utilized both on Windows and Linux. For this tutorial, we're going to be doing it on Windows. Beyond that, you should also have a background in rigging or Python or maybe some C++ too as we get further into future tutorials. Beyond that, you should be good to go. Here we are on GitHub. I'll post the link to this page down below. Once you're here, you can go and click on code. And if you're familiar with Git, you can clone the repository, work on it locally, whatever you need to do. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to download the zip. If you're unfamiliar with zip folders, all you'll have to do is right click and you could hit extract all or extract here, or you could use 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever you're comfortable with. Once you have it extracted, you should have a MetaHuman DNA calibration main folder. Within that, there should be another MetaHuman DNA calibration main folder. And in here, what we're going to be working with today is the DNA viewer. If you want to, you could go and read the README. This will tell you everything that you need to know to get started and to start using the DNA calibration in general. Now, what we're going to need to do is add the module path of the My Human DNA calibration to our Maya module paths in our system variables. So if you click the Windows button or go down here, you could type in system environment. And you can click on this one right here. Go on this page and hit environment variables. And then in here, you're going to see a bunch of different environment variables, system variables. We want to scroll through the system variables until we see Maya module path. If you don't have this, you could go ahead and hit new, name it Maya module path. And then we're going to want to paste in the location of the main folder, right? So if we go to this location, it'll be exactly where all of these files live. With that set up, you go ahead and hit OK. OK, make sure everything saves. If you need to, you might have to hit Apply on the System Properties page here. And now we should be able to jump into Maya. You go in here and you click this. You go to File, Open Script. You could locate this in the MetaHuman DNA Calibration Main, Examples. And we're gonna be opening up the DNA Viewer Run in Maya.py. What this is going to do is open up this script within Maya. You click this double play button up at the top. It's going to execute the script and you should see the DNA viewer UI show up in Maya. When you run the DNA viewer, you're going to get this window popping up. It's a little UI widget. And if we go to the right of path and click on this ellipses, we go to the DNA calibration like source folder. From there, we could go to data and they've got two base DNA like example test files. If you want to download them yourself, you could open up Unreal Engine and go to your MetaHuman Identity. Inside here, you could go to MetaHuman Identity and export DNA. Now, for this, we're just gonna do Taro, hit open, load DNA. Here, you could select which LOD you want. If you want all of them, you can select all meshes. We're just gonna stick with LOD zero right now. Let's deselect all, click that. I think there's seven on this example one. Now you're gonna to wanna to hit joints, blend shapes, skin cluster. It's not gonna let you select rig logic until you have all of these. There could also be some issues that you run into with different plugins or if your DNA file is not set up correctly. So if you're having issues with getting rig logic to load, feel free to let me know and be happy to help. From here, if we click on data and go to GUI, we can select the GUI path here. To find the analog GUI path, we can go to analog GUI. And for the additional assembly script path, Click on that, it'll be right here as well, inside the data folder. My bad, if you want the rig logic to be checked, you have to make sure that you have all LODs selected. You can't just have one, they all have to be there. If you hover over it, it says some additional information that might help you with troubleshooting this as well. But that's it, you go ahead and hit process. All right, it's been a little bit, but I ended up having to clone the Git repository by downloading it. I wasn't able to use this Git LFS install and Git LFS pull to pull the full DNA files. So if you're having that same issue where you are in the DNA viewer and you can't select this rig logic option, it's probably because your DNA files that you download from the example project aren't set up correctly. So if you need to, go ahead and do that. If you have questions on doing so, feel free to reach out. So now if we hit process one more time. All right, and processing is complete. 
Now, if we go ahead and just minimize this for now and scroll out, we see that we have the rig here. Now, when you are doing this, you have to make sure that you have a couple plugins enabled. If you're getting any issues with it, it's probably because of this. So if we go all the way to the bottom, we should see this DNA calibration, and we're going to see this embed RL4, DNA, DNA calib. We'll get into those later when we do a little bit more exploration into the calibration process. But this embedded RL4 is the MetaHuman essentially like plugin allowing all the MetaHuman controls and everything to take effect. So if this is not loaded, you could also set to auto load if you're doing a lot of MetaHuman work. If this isn't loaded, you're going to have a lot of problems with the connections between these assets. So we go ahead and minimize this. Should be able to select these different controls now, move them around, and you can see the deformations happening. Now what you could do with this too is go into Unreal Engine, and if you checked out last week's video using ArcKit and LiveLink, you were able to make the you know, live real-time animation on the asset. What you could do is download the LiveLink plugin for Maya, and if you animate here in Maya, those animations will go directly into the asset in Unreal Engine as well. So it's a great way to visualize, you know, if you want to animate in Maya, and you want to visualize what those animations are going to look at, you know, rendering in real time and with all the textures, this is a great way to do it. Now keep in mind, the DNA viewer that we're looking at today is not just a UI to create all these things, it is more of a library, an asset library or an API, and you could call it and build different things with it. If we go into the folder, the main folder that we've been using, there are different examples here too. So if we go ahead and let's say we copy this path, open up our Python scripts, file, open script, Go ahead and paste that path in there. We could look at some of these others, like build rig with textures. You could open that up, and we're going to see it has all the actual code in here, so you don't have to deal with the UI. If you want to streamline your pipeline, this is a great thing to learn if you're using Maya and MetaHuman. I highly recommend it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Next week, we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into the DNA calibration side of things and maybe doing a little bit more Python scripting in C++ API calls, different things with all of that. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. As always, keep learning, and I'll see you next time.